Happy New Gear Day. Hey folks, this is Grant, your old noise pal from Hard Tech Studios, and this is my first unboxing in a little over three years. Of course, this is coming from Sweetwater Sound. Thank you, Josh. Always awesome. And I am really excited about this. I mean, you already know from the title. It is the Chaos Pad Replay. And y'all know why I like weird gear. I actually had the KP3 before and um, sold it because I need money and found I wasn't really using it much. But, uh, you know, once I saw this, I've been missing my, uh, my Chaos Pad 3. And I love touchscreens. And I've been needing, not needing, been wanting a new stereo effects processor. So um, let, me, let me scoot this down to stay out of the way of the mic stand. And all right, already seeing that I was kind of hoping for a prettier box, but I mean, it's just a box, right? So what's the matter? And of course, because it is sweet water, you get candy and looks like they got my bit of honey, which is my favorite. And uh, a dad's root beer thing, that's pretty cool. Nice. So free candy. Um, I did get a couple extra of these because you know, it does have the uh, RCA ports, which another thing I wasn't crazy about with the KP3 and something I'm not going to be crazy about with this thing, but you know, whatever. As always, they are nice enough to put your receipt in this, so you're not seeing any of my personal information. So, bubble wrap, of course, box, and toss. And here we have the KP3 box. I, I called it the KP3, I'm sorry, Chaos Replay. Guys, I'm really excited about this. My voice is changing because I am bringing the camera down. And it's at a weird angle because I'm, I'm doing my best, guys. I'm doing my best. But yeah, um, I've been wanting a stereo effects processor, something fun, something a little bit more than just tweaking a knob. And uh, I saw this a couple months ago on um, Syntopia, I think. And I'm like, oh my god, that is awesome. And then I saw the price of it. I'm like, oh my god, that is not awesome. So I went back to looking at the, uh, what I've been looking at, uh, the uh, uh, Roland SP404 MK2. Because it's got a pretty nice effects processor, showing you the different sides of the box and such. And um, I've also wanted just a basic sampler, something a little bit more basic than the, uh, the Octatrack. Something a little bit more complex than the drum machine part of the of the circuit tracks, and this fits a bill. You know, just something to add some you know little vocal samples here, and little and you know fun sound effects like that. So now that I have the box, I'm trying to figure out how it opens. I think I just figured it out. Open from this end, and let's see what we got okay hey that's mine that's mine oh download the Korg software bundle make music straight away uh, I might just let somebody have that but so we've got um, a manual uh, the USB cable right here and then we've got power adapter now I do not plan on um, plugging this up and getting started making music on this video because uh, tomorrow's Saturday and Saturday at Camping World is our big day. I got to make money to pay this thing off. So, um, but I am going to try and just at least turn it on. You know, let's just see how it looks at least. And I will be making plenty of video. Whoop, dropping everything. Not the actual unit. This is some strong bubble wrap, guys. Man. That's like some hefty Hulk bubble wrap. All right, another box toss. Getting crowded in here. So, uh, let's see. How, how are we looking here? We can, we can shrink this down a bit. Okay. And uh, how, how do we open this? I, you know, I don't, oh, I bet it has something to do with this. There we go. 
and now we just reach in, grab this thing, slide it out, and oh my god. Oh, I'm getting that new gear feeling. I'm getting gas. So it's got this tape going around it. I guess that's to help um, protect the knobs and RCA outputs and such. So let's go ahead and remove that. I've been watching a lot of reviews and uh, like plenty of the gear that I buy, it has not been getting rave reviews and it's mainly because of the price tag. Uh, yeah, um, the, oh, it stuck to me. The SP404 is priced at $499. This one is priced at $999, so double the price, which kind of sucks, but yeah. I'm going to raise this up just a little bit so we can see it a little better because I suck at camera angles. But yeah, I mean, it's got a metal casing. Very solid. This is this is very hefty feeling. And um, you got your crawl. Ooh, the crossfaders feel really good. Like really good. See the knobs? Mm, knobs are okay. The little knobs. These knobs are smaller than these knobs. Ew. These knobs do not feel good at all. Um, there's a little drag on the touch screen. But uh, let's go ahead and just plug it up real quick. But uh, The pads. The pads feel very solid. Not too squishy. Not too firm. Um, the regular buttons. There's a little clickness to it. And yeah, let's get it plugged up real quick. So here we are. And trust me, folks, I will be making plenty, 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 plenty of videos with this thing. Um, probably not a whole bunch just by itself, but plenty with other gear. Because, I mean, that's what y'all want to see, right? Y'all want to see me run all kinds of weird things through it. Mono, and this is not a long cable. Wow. This is short. It's, gosh, guys. Let's see. Is it even going to fit my power adapter? It, oh, my God. We're, we're really stretching here. But here, let's just do this. I'm going to kind of go diagonal with it. So uh, let's turn it on. For the first time and it's on got that pulsating effect had a little bit of load time and then you got the, the little trail and I guess that kind of shows you the BPM boom 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 right and uh, let's see data entry Okay, so we're on the different effects. Um, let's let's see if we can pull up some of those other screens real quick. Uh, sampling. Okay, well let, let's not do that then. Um, pad motion. Uh, touch hold. Chaos pad. Uh, hot cue. Trigger pad. I, I should have done a little bit more. Um, here we go. So there's a screen. Global hard trigger pad at it. Oh, that's pretty cool. So it looks like we already have some sounds loaded up. So yeah. Um, let's see what happens if I hit group A. Group A. Group B. That's pretty cool. All right, guys. Um, real quick, one thing I do want to do even though it's kind of out of view. If I can move the mic stand for you. Uh, let's do some size comparisons real quick. Here is the last piece of gear that I bought. The circuit tracks. So you can see what those look like together. Give you an idea of the, uh, the size. Center cancel, that don't sound fun. Here we have it with the 
Volca, standard cord Volca. So yeah. All right. Um, so y'all can see it. Here is the side. There's all your connections. Here's the front of it. With your headphone and mic inputs and knobs. And yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do something about that freaking cable link though. That sucks. I mean, let's uh let me uh go ahead and shut this down. Uh, discard. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to fold this in half so you can see the length of it. Well, it gives you an idea. We'll, we'll fold it in half again. So, yeah, that is not a lot of length. But, um, yeah, sorry to end on a negative note. Otherwise, I am digging the heck out of this. I mean, it is... Let's, let's see what we need. Solid. Very excited. You're going to be seeing a lot of this, I am sure. So, I will be jamming with y'all soon. Stay tuned.